Simon I the Great also known as Svimin, of the Bagrationi dynasty, was a Georgian king of Kartli from 1556 to 1569 and again from 1578 to 1599. He spent most of his reign in an incessant war against the Persian and Ottoman domination of Georgia. First reign and struggle against Persia. The eldest son of the heroic king Luuasib I of Kartli and Tamer of Emerita, he commanded his father's army at the Battle of Garizi against the Persian invaders, 1556. He was proclaimed by his father co-ruler and heir apparent just prior to the action. Though Louis Wasib was mortally wounded, the battle was won by Simon, who soon ascended the throne on the death of his father. As the Kartlian capital Tbilisi remained in the Persian hands, Simon had a residence in Gori, whence he ruled over the territories recaptured from the occupiers. In 1559, he allied himself with another Georgian sovereign, Levani of Kakatai, and married his daughter Nestan Dejan. Beginning in 1560, Simon launched a series of battles to recover Tbilisi, but in April 1561 suffered a defeat of the Battle of Sikadidi, which cost life to his brother-in-law and ally, Prince Georgi of Kakatai. His brother, David, recently submitted to the Safavid Shah Tamas I, converted to Islam, and returned with a Persian army to claim the crown. Simon blockaded Tbilisi and won the battles at Diomi and Samadlo, but he was finally defeated and taken prisoner at Partskazi, 1569. David, now known as Dord Khan, was made by Persians a tributary king of Kartli. Simon was sent to Persia where he refused to convert to Islam and was imprisoned at the fortress of Alamut for nine years. Second reign and struggle against the Ottomans when the peace between the Safavids and the Ottomans collapsed and the Turkish general Lala Mustafa Pasha drove the Persians out of Georgia, Tamasp I released Simon to fight the Ottomans and reinstated him as king of Kartli. Simon led a successful guerrilla war against the Turks, recovered most of Kartli by 1579, and put a siege to Tbilisi. At the same time, he induced the prince Manachar II Jaikli to revolt against the Ottoman rule in Akhaltsika, and attempted to get support from Pope Clement VIII, Emperor Rudolf II and Philip II of Spain. The negotiations, however, failed to yield any serious results. From 1588 to 1590, Simon interfered on three occasions into a power struggle in the western Georgian Kingdom of Emerita, and though victorious over Levin of Emerita at the Battle of Gopunto, he was finally defeated at Opsviti and driven out with the help of the Turks. Finally, the Ottomans prevailed and their recently appointed commander, Ferhad Pasha, was able to conquer Kartli by 1588. Simon had to make peace with the Sublime Port and agreed to pay an annual tribute. By a peace treaty signed in Constantinople on March 21, 1590, the Safavids also recognized all of Georgia as an Ottoman possession. Simon, however, resumed his struggle against the occupants in 1595, and retook Gori after a long-lasting siege in 1599. The Sultan Mehmed III sent a large punitive force led by Jafar Pasha, Bailey B. Avan. Simon met it at the Battle of Nakijuri, but he was severely defeated and taken captive while retreating, 1599. Upon the Simon's arrest the Sultan Mehmed III made the following order. He was sent in chains to Constantinople where he died as a prisoner at the Fortress of the Seven Towers. His body was then redeemed by the Georgians and buried at the Svetitskovali Cathedral at Mts Kheta next to his father family and children. Simon married in 1559 Nestan Dejan, daughter of Levinai of Kakatai. They had six children, four sons and two daughters. Prince Georgi, king of Kartli as George X. Prince Luasib, taken as a hostage to Iran in 1582. Prince Alexander, Prince Vaktang, Princess Eileen, wife of Manachar Tujakli, Atabag of Samtska. Princess Farijan Begum, who married Shahzada Sultan Hamza Mirza, son of Shah Tamasp I or Muhammad Kodabanda.